Okay, this is the uh, first video of uh, your class session. And once you've logged on, once we've gone over the log, or the classroom rules and expectations and procedures and things like that, I want you to make some adjustments to your desktop. Just so you know, this area right here of your screen is your desktop. This down here is your taskbar. You do not have this right now, but you do have a few of these buttons that you see here on the taskbar. This is the start button. And the first thing I want you to do um, in this, as you can see here, we're going to modify the taskbar, which again is this bar right here. And it basically has all of the tasks that you have running on your computer. And when you run your mouse over each task, it gives you a little preview of what that task is. So right now I have Google Chrome running. I also have Microsoft PowerPoint running and I also have another program that I'm using for this recording running as well. So this is called the taskbar. And what I want to do first is I want to remove this blue E that you see right here. And this is uh, this is one of our internet browsers. And you're going to see this blue E and you're also going to see this little Google Chrome symbol as well. These are both internet browsers. When you click on one of these buttons, it will take you to the internet. However, I would like for you to be using Google Chrome only. So the first task that I need you to do is I want you to right click, right click your mouse so that this menu pops up. Now if you left click it's gonna open an Internet Explorer window and if you right click it'll pull up this little menu here and what I want you to do is I want you to unpin this program from the taskbar and what that's gonna do it's gonna remove that button altogether because all I really want you to be using is Google Chrome for your internet browser. There's also another internet browser that we use as well and it's on your desktop you don't see it here actually it's right here and it's called Mozilla Firefox so there are three internet browsers the most popular ones that you can choose to use however again I want you using Google Chrome and Google Chrome only uh, let me just show you the difference between the the three internet browsers so here's Mozilla Firefox which is on your desktop you cannot remove um, and, and basically the layout of the browser is just a little bit different than the other two. I'm going to let this load up here for a minute and it takes us, uh, for me it takes me right to my uh, my home page here for Waterville Elite Public Schools. So this is Firefox Internet Browser. I'm also going to take you to Internet Explorer which you've already you know taken off of your taskbar but if I go down here I click the start button and I search for Internet Explorer here it is right here and I open this up you'll see what the Internet Explorer browser will look like as well a little bit different than than uh, Mozilla Firefox but not much different you're gonna find that all of your internet browsers are close to the same and for me, my Internet Explorer opens up right to Google. You notice some um, advertisements that automatically pop up, and this is why we don't, and I don't want you using Internet Explorer. So we're going to close this window. And finally, the one that I want you using is called Google Chrome. When you open up Google Chrome, again, it takes me right to Google. Uh, if you have a Gmail account, you may log in right in this area here where you would sign in but this is the the Google Chrome Internet ex Internet browser and this is what I want you to be using so whenever you use the internet whenever anything is to be searched for researched this is the browser right here Google Chrome that I would like for you to be using I'm gonna close this again so again uh, basic I right click on the Internet Explorer button remove it from the the taskbar here and this is the taskbar any other program that you would like to be added to this taskbar feel free to add them uh, however there's two other 
buttons that I want to be added to this taskbar here that you're gonna need for this class. Number one, click the start button and choose the snipping tool. I want you to right click on the snipping tool and I want you to choose pin to taskbar. Okay, number one. Number two, click the start button again, choose all programs, find the Microsoft Office 2013 folder, click on this, find PowerPoint which is right here, and I want you to right click and I want you also to pin this to your taskbar, just like I've done. So we pinned PowerPoint and the snippet tool to our taskbar. So you should have Windows Explorer button, your Windows Media Player button, your Google Chrome Internet Browser button, your PowerPoint button, and also your snippet tool. That's really all that you should have on your taskbar at this point. Now let's go back to this right here. So what we've done is we've removed Internet Explorer from your taskbar. We've added the snippet tool and the Microsoft PowerPoint button here to your taskbar. And the last thing I want to show you is how to add gadgets to your desktop. Another term. Anytime you see a word in bold, is a term that you definitely need to know, such as taskbar. Okay, adding gadgets to your desktop. This is the last part to this video. So if you're on your desktop, again, this is your desktop. These buttons right here that are already located on your desktop are called icons. As you can see, I'm going to add a little bit to this, another term, icons, our buttons on your desktop. Okay, and these are just easily accessible buttons. If you want to add any program, for example, if you want Microsoft Word on your desktop, right click, I'm sorry, you can just click and drag. You can click and drag any button that you'd like or any program that you'd like to your desktop. And you can move it anywhere you want as well. Now, currently your desktop wallpaper is blue. And we're, you're going to get a chance to modify that and change that here in a few minutes. But the last thing we want to do is add gadgets to our desktop. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. If we're on our desktop, this area right here is our desktop. It's called our desktop. Icons, taskbar, start button. By the way, here is our volume button. Also, date and time. And what's kind of neat is if uh, you have a program running or multiple programs running like I do right now, I can choose this button right here in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen and it'll take me to my desktop. So to add gadgets, I'm going to right click on the desktop and I'm going to choose gadgets. The only gadgets that I'd like for you to be running at any time, not a big fan of the picture puzzle, slideshow, uh, Windows Media, feed headlines, currency, etc. Here's what I'd like. Just to show me that you can add gadgets, I want the clock to be added. Let me just drag that up here. Added too many clocks. You can add the calendar. And you can also add the weather. Let's drop that right there. I'm going to close this window. Now, it says New York. How to change this? The, the wrench here is the options for making your, your changes and Waterville is 
zip code is 49098. We want to show it in Fahrenheit, not in Celsius. Click OK. And it shows us and it shows us the weather for this day. I can click on this too and it'll take me to a website to give me any weather updates that are going on. So that's allowable for you. Also the calendar, you can um, make some different changes here if you'd like. You see the whole calendar, if you double click it you can also X out of it. And the clock, the wrench options can actually change what clock you'd like to be displayed. So that's the first task. Um, once you've completed this video, either uh, you know complete the other video as shown.